Okay, so let's spend a few minutes together thinking about the extended multiplier effect. A reminder that the multiplier is just a number. It's the difference uh, between the final change in national income uh, against the initial change in AD. So it's the ratio of the final change in GDP divided by a change in investment or exports or government spending, one of those components of demand changes. And you're kind of hoping the multiplier is quite a big number, but it often isn't. Now, the, the extended multiplier brings into account not just saving, but also an open economy, so goods and services can be imported. That's a leakage from the circular flow. And also the government sector, government spending money on the one hand, of course, they're taking tax, direct taxes of individuals and companies as well. So we have to consider two more leakages. In addition to savings, we have to consider imports and tax. The formula for the extended multiplier is 1 divided by the marginal rate of withdrawal. Now, there are three withdrawals from the circular flow, savings, imports, and tax. So the marginal rate of withdrawal sums together, adds together the rate of leakage from people not spending money, people buying goods and services from overseas, and taxes taken by the government. So the multiplier formula, the extended multiplier, is 1 divided by the sum of MPS, marginal propensity to save, MPM, marginal propensity to import, MRT, the marginal tax rate on income or the marginal rate of tax. So can you calculate the value of the multiplier using the more complex formula? Well, here's an example. And this is taken from a past multiple choice question on the A-level exam. In an open economy with a government sector, the marginal propensity to import is 0.3. So we import 30% of anything we spend. Propensity to tax is 0.3 and the propensity to save is 0.2. What is the value of the multiplier? Well, maybe you want to have a go at this yourself. Do a quick, a quick calculation, you know, press the pause button and just press play when you want to go through the answer together. What's the value of the multiplier? Well, the multiplier is 1 divided by the marginal rate of withdrawal. So we have to add together three leakages. And uh, let's do the maths here together. 0.3 plus 0.3 plus 0.2 is 0.8. And if we divide 1 by 0 0.8, we get 1.25. You see that the, the combined leakages are 80% every time money goes around the system. So when the, rate, when the rate of leakage is high or withdrawal is high, you tend to get a pretty low value of the multiplier, in this case, 1.25. OK, uh, let's uh, have a second example. It told the propensity to import is 0 0.2, propensity to tax is 0 0.1, and propensity to save is 0.1 as well. So all three leakages are lower. You should now be able to predict what will happen to the value of the multiplier. What is the value of the multiplier in this situation? Do a quick calculation and then just uh, press play when you want to go through the answer together. Well, it's the multiplier, same formula. By the way, in the exam, always write down the formula. You get credit for doing that. Even if you make a numerical error, it happens in exams, put the right formula down, you will get credited. Well, this time our leakage is only 0 0.4, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 is just 0 0.4. So the multiplier here is 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.4, which is 2.5, higher figure. And when the marginal rate of withdrawal goes down, the value of the multiplier goes up. There we go. That was the extended multiplier effect using the extended formula.